Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how students can attend online examination using their mobile phone in Google Form. Before you attend online examination, you should know the three important points. Number one, make sure your mobile phone is charged 100 percentage. And the second one, your mobile phone should need internet data package. The third important point, check your network connectivity, whether your mobile phone will reach the internet connectivity. Let's see how to attend online examination using your mobile phone. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. So using my mobile phone, I can able to attend the online examination. Imagine I am a student, I'm going to attend the online examination. So from your staff members, your teachers, you may receive a test mail, online test link through the mobile, through the email or WhatsApp. Just check the mail or WhatsApp whether you will receive the online test link. Yes, I have received from my teacher. So good morning dear students, the, click the link to attend the online test. I have received from my mail, you can receive uh, from the WhatsApp or any other social media or mail. Just hit the button, the link. So automatically the link will reach you directly to your Chrome browser. In your mobile phone, you, you should have your Chrome browser. So the test is going to start now. This is a welcome message. So uh, the online examination total marks is 75. The paper name, examination paper name also the teacher given. History of press online examination. The total time duration is given here. So that this examination with the timer option is there. So I need to appear with the examination with the timing option. So I just click the start option automatically my test will be started. As you see the current time and time left. So total 45 minutes is there and start time and end time will be applied there. So you can see in here the history of press option is here. So I can able to give my email address and basic information about the students details. So just I can give my email address. So do not panic, just give your email address and name of the student. So you need to give your inputs there. So name of the students, my name and with the initial. So the roll number, whether so my unique roll number I can give and which class I am from. I'm from 10th A so that I can give my class name and section name. Once I complete the basic formalities as your physical uh, uh, paper, what you are writing, your name, roll number and class and section. So similarly, the online examination also will have the basic formalities. But here you need to give your email address. So that will be reach you to your staff member. Yeah. So my basic information I have filled. Once I fill, just to click the next option, automatically it will reach you to the digital question paper so my time is running there so i can able to attend the digital question so this question is carrying two marks questions so my teacher is given my right hand side corner you can find the two points is available so this question will carry two points in here there will be a red mark on top so red mark means the required field so i need to give the answer so the who's announced the first newspaper in India, I can give the answer. I can read uh, the question carefully so I can give the correct answer, which is the correct answer so that I can give. So if you uh, give the wrong answer, if you want to skip and change means you can change because this is a digital. You don't worry about the eraser or any other marker. So you can uh, click and change whatever you want. So using your click button because this is a smartphone, I'm using touch. So who started Bengal Journal? Just I can give whatever the correct answers I can give uh, according to my answer so that it is easy for me. Yeah. So here there is 
the filling the blank question they asked my teacher is asked who's founder of the hindu newspaper if you know you can give otherwise you don't know what is the answer means just click nil i don't know the answer means you can give otherwise you can give whatever answer is correct if you don't know the answer you can give nil option or you can type the correct answer which is the correct answer you can give otherwise you can give nil because this is a required field you need to type any other information yes once i complete this session so you can verify every questions are correct just click next option automatically it will direct you to the next question because the digital question paper will carry 75 marks means 2 marks 10 mark and 5 marks will be available so this digital question also has the same thing 10 mark question will be available write about evolution of indian press so the time is running there i can able to check the time and i can give the descriptive words so here my teacher is given 10 points of this question so that i need to give uh, the descriptive words so this is uh, related to indian press so similarly you can give your descriptive words so that your teacher can give the mark according to your uh, subject yes so i can submit my test once the physically if you write all the test means you need to submit to your teacher similarly you can click submit before that you can check the answer go to back and check the answer whatever answer you given so everything just select and click submit if you okay with all the answer so time is running there just to click submit automatically your response has been recorded once the confirmation message will come means automatically it will show you thank you for using google presentation your response has been recorded so this is a confirmation message you have submitted your online test the time will be stopped once you submit means the time will be stopped there so you can able to understand your exam is finished yeah so this is a easy procedure you can able to understand and appear your examination thanks for watching have a good day